there. I'm Dr. Softly and I'm going to be making sure that you're doing well. Taking a look at your chart here. And it looks like you've been in cryosleep for 1,000 years. Does that sound correct? psychologically that you're doing well. So I'm going to be taking care of you today, and we're going to just be checking a whole bunch of medical stuff, okay? Do you know what year it is? Very good. Okay. Let's begin. First thing I'm gonna check will be your vitals, okay? Okay. So we're going to get this. I'm gonna listen to your heart and then your lungs, okay? Okay. Let's do this. Okay. Save up for me. There we go. Gonna go ahead and wrap that around your arm. It's gonna get tight, okay? Okay. It 
was a little bit high, but looking back over your records previous to cryosleep, that seems to be your normal. So I'm not too concerned. Okay. You're feeling kind of nervous. It's very understandable. doing a great job. Okay. So now, I'm going to be taking your temperature. You want to make sure that you don't have any fever, any sort of sign of infection. Your immune system might be a little bit weird coming out of all of that time in the cryogenic freezer, but just want to make sure that you're doing okay. And you'll come back in regularly for checkups to make sure that you stay okay. Okay. So I'm just going to gently put this in your ear. Point six Fahrenheit on the dot. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to check your eyes and make sure that your vision is what it was when I put you under. expect that the results will be the same. In all of our other patients, there's been no change whatsoever. But we still have to check, just to be sure we have to be very thorough in our records. So, eye exams have been updated just a little bit since you were asleep. And so, the chart that you're going to be reading from is going to be projected behind me, okay? Okay. And we'd like to do one eye at a time. So we're going to just cover one of your eyes. And then we'll move to the other side, okay? Okay. And I'm going to move to the side. side. The chart will come back and we're going to read some more, okay? You're doing great. Don't be nervous. So I'm going to be looking into your pupils. There's going to be a light and a little bit of magnifying glass for me. But it shouldn't hurt your eyes. I just want to check their reactivity.
make sure that your eyes react to light appropriately and on top of that, that they both work consistently every time, okay? Okay. So first I'm just gonna shine the light and then I'm gonna actually take a deeper look, okay? Okay. I'm going to be using this. So I'm going to cover and I'm going to check looking at the clock. looking good. Now can I please? Okay, eyes open. Uh -huh. Oh, you have gorgeous eyes. I just wanted you to know. when we put you to sleep. It's very consistent with our patients seeing as there are no changes. And you're also very lucky in the sense that you didn't go under for needing a medicine for an illness that couldn't be cured yet or anything. According to your chart, you just wanted to start a new life. And it seems that it's related to your college project? Yes, your college is, is still running, don't worry. Oh, don't, don't worry, you're gonna be able to continue your studies, continue your classes, different teachers, of course, um, the entire building has been redone, but it's all been, it's all been accounted for. to be holding up some fingers, okay? And I'm going to be wiggling them in one of these four areas of your vision. And we want to make sure that all of these quadrants are working properly. This also has to do with your signals from your brain to your eyes. I'm going to lift a finger, and I'm going to wiggle it, and I want you to tell me which of these quadrants that you see it in, okay? So I want you to look straight at me, straight at my nose. Good. Okay. Don't turn your head, just look right here, and let me know, okay? Which quadrant? Do that time. Good. 
great. Two again. good care of our patients. There's usually not any significant difference in function after waking up. That's sort of the point, but we like to keep very meticulous records in case something goes wrong or if there's a particular anomaly in a patient. We want to make sure we have everything accounted for. Okay? All right. Okay. Now I would love to check your ears, okay? All right. So we're going to use this, and I'm going to put it in your ear, and I'm going to look inside just to see if there's any blockage. Just want to look at the color. Just want to look at everything. Very good. comfort if there was anything different. That's why I wasn't worried. Okay, we're gonna get over on this side now. And we're just gonna take a look in your ear. It's a very good color. There's no sign of blockage or any kind of collapse. Everything is looking in your chart. I'd like to make sure I everything down. It's not enough to look. go into one ear, and I'm going to whisper a series of letters and numbers, and I'd like you to repeat them back to me. just want to make sure that besides just being able to hear, you can process information that you're hearing. Okay. Good. 
Exactly right. Let's do a couple more, okay? Repeat this back to me. H five T four S. Repeat it back to me. Perfect. Okay, back over here. another test that is to test your brain function connecting with your ears. I'm going to be putting one hand on either side of your head by your ears and I'm going to be making a noise with one of them that'll sound like this or this in your left ear or your right ear and I want you to tell me which one it is, okay? I want you to have your eyes closed so no cheating and tell me which ear hear the little noise in, okay? Alright. Close your eyes. Which ear? The left. Good. Which ear? The right. Alright, here's another one. Alright, again. And this one? Very tricky of a spell. And now? Good. Neither. And now? Right. Left. And one more. Good. Seems like that's all working. system or your sense of smell is working. So I have this container of clear liquid and it should have a very recognizable scent. So if you could just smell it and tell me what it smells like to you. Okay? Give it a sniff. to hold your jaw shut, just very lightly, and I want you to try to open your jaw against the resistance of my hands, okay? Okay, so I'm just going to hold it, try to open your mouth. Good. Okay. I have a little Q-tip here, and I'm going to touch different parts of your face, and I want you to close your eyes and tell me what part.
went through cryosleep, but we don't want you to be completely frozen in the face. Okay, close your eyes. Where'd you feel it? Good. Keep your eyes closed. right and where'd you feel it? Great. And where do you feel it? Good. And where do you feel it? Perfect. Let's do a few more, all right? So where'd you feel it? right? And where'd you feel it? Great. We'll do one more. Where'd you feel it? Perfect. Okay. Okay. I would like to test more of the muscles in your face. your forehead. Like that. Like that. Good. I want you to puff out your cheeks like this. Great. So now I'm going to be trying to open your eyes and I want you to resist. Okay? So I'm going to gently pull on your eyelids and I want you to keep them closed. Say, ah. Uh, very good. I want you to stick your tongue out. I just want to make sure that it's not leaned to one side because that would indicate muscle weakness. We want it to be nice and straight and center. Exactly like you've got it. Very good. resisting you, okay? Okay. Try to turn your head to the left. Good. Try to turn to the right. Great. Fantastic. I want you to shrug for me. Perfect. Okay. So, your medical screening has on perfectly. Everything is good. Like I said, the, um, the blood pressure was a little bit high, but that seems to be your normal, so I'm not concerned. It seems like you've gotten tests before EKGs and you're okay. So, I'm not worried about that for you. Everything looked good. Everything was exactly the same as before we put you into cryosleep. So, I'd like to do a psychological evaluation to make sure that you're feeling okay. I know that it's very overwhelming to wake up 1,000 years later. A whole new life, a whole new generation of people on the planet. It's a lot to take in, so I want to make sure that you're doing all right. Okay. So I just have a few questions for you. How are you feeling? Scared, anxious, excited, motivated, optimistic, depressed. Okay. And how intense would that emotion be on a scale from one to ten? Where 
feeling about waking up from cryo sleep. A little tired? That's normal. Are you feeling cold? Your temperature seemed fine, but if you're feeling a little chilly, then I can offer some blankets for you before we head you out to your housing. Yeah, we can do that for you. We want you to be comfortable. But emotional. How are you feeling? It's a lot to take in. It's very understandable. Okay. That's normal. It's very normal. No, it's... Everyone feels that way when they first come out of cryosleep. It's a little bit of an adjustment for the mind as it takes it all in. It's the human body never really gone through it before, so it's very brand new. Okay. Do you remember why why you chose to go into cryosleep for 1,000 years? I did say that. Do you remember what your school project was about? your research goes well. Okay. Here's a big one. Do you regret going into cryosleep? Good. That's a really big one. There are some people that don't know how to cope with it. It's something that maybe they thought they'd put a lot of thought in. make sure that people know what they want, and, but sometimes people just underestimate how overwhelming it can be. What are you hoping for in your new life? I'd say that's as good a reason as any. Are you interested in meeting any of your family? According to our records, let me just check. Your great, 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 etc. Great, 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 great nephew would like to meet you. Okay. You can go ahead and make that appointment. Very good. Okay. And do you have any questions about the current year or any major historical events that have happened within the last 1,000 years. Okay. Well, if you'd like to know later, we will offer you a brochure with a comprehensive but brief and sort of, you know, just concise history of the last 1,000 years, as well as any changes culturally and politically and socially. Things like that, technologically, of course. Absolutely. I I can imagine it's a lot to take in right now. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? Yes, you look absolutely great for being a thousand etc. years old. Fantastic. About me? Well, I've been working in this facility for three years now. I got my license three and a half years ago after seven years of school. Yes, absolutely. This is my passion.
housing has been provided for you, just as you, we have the different options that you picked when you signed up and before we put you under, and I think you're going to like it. According to your chart, you wanted a three-bedroom, two-bathroom house overlooking the ocean, um, really tall ceilings, and you also asked for an extra deep bathtub. We got that for you. And that you I requested that there will be no noise around you ever. That um is a little bit more possible with modern soundproofing technology. It's not gonna be dead silence, but you know, we do want people to be able to hear you if you need something. You find some sort of employment that you want to be assigned to. You can pick anything you like. Um, there's a vacancy usually available in any particular position that you want to be in. So you can just select on the list we'll provide you any possible employment positions that interest you. We find that laziness is usually a result of the right person being put in the wrong place. Everybody has something that they want to do. Everybody has something that they like to do. And perhaps a thousand years ago, you might have to work in some place that you didn't want to, that wasn't fulfilling for you, wasn't stimulating enough, or was too stimulating. We will find something for you as soon as you're ready to start and get going. And if you find that you are not ready, employment within the next six months, then we can have a um, deferral, and you can just wait until you're ready. Okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. Fantastic. So then the very last thing that I want to check is that, are you willing to come back to the clinic for regular there can be a delayed reaction when it comes to people's ability to cope with the situation. Um, so we like to keep an eye on you, make sure that you're okay. Um, and as for the medical screenings, we just really like to make sure that there are no problems that come up. And also, we just want to be in regular in touch with you and to make sure that you're, everything is okay. Okay? Right. Would you agree to for the first three months, um, we'll do every two weeks, and then after the three months, we'll see you every six months after that, okay? Does that sound good? All right. I will make a note of that in your file. And you know, okay, everything is looking really good. Um, everything is on par with getting you released in a couple of days. The reason why we want to wait a couple of days is we want to make sure that you are stable mentally, emotionally, and usually there's no sudden medical changes within the next few days, but sometimes things have a little a bit of a delay, like I said, with processing things psychologically. So we want to make sure that you're okay and that you're safe. Okay. So I will see you within a couple of weeks, I think is your next appointment. We'll be seeing you shortly. Um, if you can change doctors if you like, but otherwise, I will be your doctor going from here. My name is Dr. Softly, and I am very much looking forward to being your doctor. Making sure you're okay this is a very exciting thing for me. I'm very passionate about it, and I'm very, very lucky to be working with you. I hope that your school project goes very well, and if there's anything at all that I can do to help you with that, do not hesitate to ask. Okay. I'll see you soon.